Child Speech Hesitations and Stuttering by the Speech Therapy Department of the Direction du Programme Jeunesse Sius de l'Estrie Chu. Stuttering is neither a disease, a nervous tick, nor a psychological problem. It is not a sign of stress nor weakness. Stuttering, also known as stammering, is a neurological problem. The brain has difficulty controlling how the child speaks. In this video, we will discuss normal child speech hesitations and stuttering. We will introduce you to simple ways to help your child if he hesitates while speaking. From age two to four, many children will experience a period of normal speech hesitations. That period can last three to four months. Normal speech hesitations may occur when the child is learning many new words and is making longer sentences. He has more things to say, but is not yet sufficiently fluent in making those longer, more complex sentences. He may therefore hesitate. However, normal speech hesitations don't last for long. If speech hesitations persist and become more frequent, then this might be stuttering. Here are a few signs of stuttering. Speech hesitations have been present for more than six months. Hesitations are numerous. The child seems to block on certain sounds. The child gets upset with the hesitations, does not complete his idea. He avoids speaking. Some four to five percent of preschool children present with stuttering. Boys are four times more likely than girls to stutter. It is common to have a stutter within the same or extended family, uncle, cousin, grandmother's brother. This is referred to as family history. The severity of stuttering varies from day to day and even within the same day. Fatigue, feelings such as stress or excitement, and the ideas that one wishes to communicate can have an influence on stuttering. The child stutters more when he wants to narrate or explain something. The speech therapist must first evaluate your child to determine whether he is stuttering or not. It is recommended you go to the evaluation even if you no longer notice your child hesitating. It is not uncommon for parents to be accustomed to the slight hesitations and no longer hear them. The ideal period for an intervention with the speech therapist is before age six. While waiting for an appointment with a speech therapist, remember that a few simple tips can help make a difference for your child. To help him, show your child that you are listening to him by bending down so that you are facing him at eye level. The objective is to remain as calm and relaxed as possible. If you cannot at a specific moment immediately listen to your child because you are busy or in a hurry, inform him when you will be available to listen to him calmly and remember to do so. Listen to your child without completing his sentences. Your child might take more time to successfully state his ideas, but it matters to him to be able to complete his sentences without being interrupted. When you understand your child, do not have him repeat to correct his hesitation. Avoid giving him advice such as, take your time, take a deep breath, or think before you speak. Children often don't realize that they hesitate when speaking. The advice might make your child more aware that he has a problem when speaking and put pressure on him rather than help him. He might start to hesitate more frequently. Choose activities based on your child's needs. If your child is hesitating a lot on a given day, suggest activities where he needs to talk less, such as playing outdoors, using Play-Doh, playing board games, drawing, or playing hide and seek. When your child finds it easier to speak, recommend storytelling, role-playing games, such as playing restaurant, or playing with cars or superheroes. Aim for pleasant interactions. Your child wants to have fun and talk to you. That's all. 
it's not necessary to discuss your child's speech hesitations with them. If he does bring up the subject, you can reassure your child when he talks about his hesitations. For example, you can say, sometimes the words just stay stuck. It happens to me too. Make sure other family members give the child room to speak in conversations. You can tell the older brother and sister, it's Leah's turn to speak. You can also explain to the older children that it's important to let the younger child complete his sentences. It's upsetting when someone interrupts you mid-sentence. Don't make your child speak before a large gatherings such as a family reunion. Your child might feel embarrassed or stressed at having to speak in front of many people. He might hesitate even more and have a negative experience. It is preferable to wait for him to speak when he feels ready. You can share the information and advice contained in this video with significant people in your child's life. Your child needs others to adapt to him so that he can build the confidence to speak. For further information, you can also view the video entitled Helping My Child Develop Language Skills. All of the methods introduced in that video are also helpful for a child who stutters. Thank you for your time and attention.